everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Laurel with Sweet Bay Laurel Emporium. Um, I'm here to do a video on, I've showed you before that I have this 300 GSM um, paper that my printer doesn't like, and so I'm going to use it for collage. Um, I've got some papers here some uh, out of an atlas book uh just some plain different shades of brown paper i've got some paper from my shakespeare book and out of my vintage both the shakespeare book and the dictionary of vintage i have um blank blank tags not tags, um, excuse me, labels. I've got all my um, fussy cut stuff beside me, labels. There's a random piece of paper. Labels and um, all kinds of other stuff. I'm just moving my label ones to the top. So I just thought I would come along and um, see what I come up with. Um, my desk is a mess. This is my, um, binder. It's got these protective sheets in it, and it has all kinds of, um, papers that, you know, you get from digi kits, dragons, um, now a lot of these are from tina's some are um this is happiness and crafting tina tina okay so i just want to pull out i got tina's um, papers, the Damas Damask and, um, what was the other one? The William Morris papers, which I really like. So I just thought I would take some of those. They are in no particular order. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Okay, so that should be lots for just now. Um, and I have a smattering of papers here beside me from... I have some music page, which, um, shoot, I forgot to grab. So you can hear a weird noise in the background. I've got my, my, um, door closed to my craft room, but I have the washing machine going. I'm just going to get my, um, Music paper, I have one more. Yeah, I don't know what I do with it, so I guess I'm not using any music paper, but that's fine. It's not like I don't have a whole bunch of other papers. Uh, excuse my arm. You know, you think you're organized and then you come to do the video and you're not. So I have, I don't know how many of these. I mean, I'm not going to do all these. Um, I also have 
this this large lace it's kind of a beige cream color it's about three inches wide it's not very nice out today it's about three inches wide so i wanted to use some of that because i have quite a bit of it so as a rule don't usually do this um kind of collage and such like um no particular reason i don't think so i am going to use my I, I, oh shoot starting it already i see everything uh, for some reason i have to throw everything on the floor right here i don't know what's with that i just use this um knitting needle pokey end thing to um to glue on oh to add it Act as a glue stopper, is what I was trying to say. Maybe this isn't a good idea to do this today. I don't know, we'll see. I filmed six videos yesterday. Um, it's just the way that it, it um, worked out, that's all. My husband works out of town, so, um, I'm waiting for it to warm up so I can and quit snowing so I can get out to my horses and um, it hasn't happened yet. I'm looking for my glue spreader thingy right here. I have a little tray beside me of stuff. Put it up there, see if it will stay. Okay, I think I'm organized. Probably not really, but you know. Huh. I didn't know that cyan, cyanic of, or pertaining to the color of blue. Interesting. I didn't know that. Um, I always wondered why the, my blue ink is called cyan. <laughs> well. Come on. Yeah, I can see today's turning out wonderful. Anyways, I felt very accomplished yesterday. So anyway, so on that subject, if you would be so kind as to, I know I say this in every video, I'm just trying to grow my channel and um, I need your help um, by liking. Um, I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong or people really don't like my, um, I'm just going to use this, this paper up, or people just don't like my videos, um, but I'm not Nobody's giving it a thumbs up. So, anyways, if I'm doing something wrong, um, please leave me a comment below. Um, subscribe if you like my channel and want to help me grow it. That would be awesome. this one down here because I messed up that edge.
So I made uh, two of those um, cluster books. You can go over to Shabby Debbie Duda and have a look what they are. Or you can check out the ones that I made on my channel. I've got a couple of um, videos um, on how to do them and what they are and stuff. Anyways, I have one completed. I've been actually using stuff out of it, which um, is pretty cool. Yeah. So, clusters. So, yeah. So, I've been using um, some stuff out of them. Have you made one? I'm also working on um, my steampunk journal with the kit that I won. Um, you can check that video out. Um, they're coming, they're not up already, they're coming this week. I'm not sure when I um, scheduled them to come up, actually. As well, I have um, a market tomorrow. And I hope to, uh, if I remember this time, I hope to uh, I hope to um, Film a uh, a video of my setup. I have to make some signage for my table today too. I've got all my uh, journals from last year on sale. So and so I need a, a sale sign and I need a sign that says new um, that sort of thing. Oh, I think my wash machine is finished. So this is kind of fun. Something oddly satisfying about tearing paper, isn't there? I think I'll use those for clusters. Anyway, so let me be know, know below if there's something that you'd like to see on my channel. Um, I think I'm going to try this. Yeah, my paid, my printer, I haven't figured out um, how to print it borderless. If it will even do that, so. We'll see. I do like it otherwise because it's a it's an Epson eco tank and um, I've had it now probably probably a year and um, when I first got it I did quite a bit of printing and so I had to um, like a lot of printing and so I had to get ink, but then um, after that initial sort of novelty wore off, <laughs> if you will, I haven't, um, I just replaced the ink on it the other day after about a year or so. And the ink 
is only $53 for the trio pack of the three colors and big bottles and that lasts like a really long time and that's a lot cheaper than than the uh, HP Um, they're expensive though, that's for darn sure. Um, cheap is, I mean, you, um, expensive to, like, to initial purchase, but it quickly pays for itself in ink that you save. So. I'm lacking something in the middle of this. So uh, what I was going to do with the um, labels was after I got the um, the papers down. I was gonna just um, I was going to uh, man, I can't think today. I was going to put down the base like these papers, and then put labels on it maybe some lace i don't know yet i'm gonna use lace so like that a label would go there a label would go there so because as you know if you watch my channel i got lots of labels I'm not very good at this. This is not really my forte. It's fun to do though. That's our green paper. Nice, isn't it? Okay. This little piece. I 
right there. What do I need to put there? A piece of brown paper. Okay, so labels. That's too much the same. Just trying to think which way up that goes. I think that goes that way. Okay, well, I kind of like the um, oval ones on here. Don't want to stick with the oval ones. Sorry, my elbow's in the way. Probably would ink these labels. Just to get rid of my um, I have a whole bunch of round labels here. No, I don't want that one. Where was I going to put this right there? Oh, I have stuff stuck to my fingers already. And it only just started. I need something up there. Now they're flying everywhere. There. Okay, now I'm just going to use walnut stain and just um. Just put them down just to uh, cover up that um, not so great cutting. Make the white one not so white. Like it. I don't know if you do or not. Let me know what you think. Is it weird? And of course, you know, you can turn these into um, tags, pockets, journal cards, um, toppers for front of journals. Those are always nice.
belly bands, um, tabs for tabs for tags. Blank labels are kind of neat because um on here because they can be a journal spot too, right? Probably gonna have to get some more labels. When you start gluing them on, because of course, do you ever get them in the same spot that you had them? No. one is not. like I want to put something else on here. Oh, where'd that one go? Right there. Feel like I want one over there. Just trying to dig them out of my little in here. Just was um, giving it a. I don't know what I did with my big uh, big spatula thingy. It's on my desk somewhere. One more. Okay. Here you go. 
I like it. Um, great way to use up labels. I'm not concerned like about a little bit of the edges or whatever because uh, once I cut them up and everything that um, can be covered up and, and such like so. Nice and thick. Anyways, there you go. Thank you for watching. Um, like I said, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. And enjoy your day and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.